am at my bookshelf right now because I am about to go through and pick my books for my March TBR and then I am going to pack up all the books that I'm not taking with me home so because I graduate in two weeks from today so I need to do this and I thought why not film it um, so that it, you guys can see what I kind of have at school and then I will um, pick my TBR and you'll see what I'm reading for while I'm home. So real quick up here I have some stuffed animals. Um, I have a Mike's Universe or a Monsters University Mike that my mom gave me. I have this owl that my friend sewed for me and gave me as a gift. I have this bear which yodels. I got it in Austria I think last winter. Um, I have this panda bear which I always he always looks a little creepy because of the way that the hair falls but um my friend and I won this at Six Flags and she told me to take it back up with me to school so I keep that here and then she also gave me this elephant so and then I have right here I have um, some food and wine magazines I have some wine spectators wine and spirits um, a baking and pastry North America and then a world traveler um, just kind of like these are more like create career oriented magazines and then I have other ones down here that you can kind of see, um, which are like 17 and people and magazines like that. So starting from this side, I have some couple books I got for free. So I have The Wines of Long Island and The Wines of Central and Southeastern Europe, which I got for free from my school library when they were in the process of redoing things. So um, yeah, that's that. And I have leadership lessons from a chef the cook's friend, so those are all kind of like also career related. And then um, I have some books that are not on my bookshelf, so I will film those real quick um, and I'll insert them after all the other books. But so moving on, I have Jane by April. L Ooh, sorry, I skipped on. A Little Princess by Frances Hodges Hodginson Burnett. Burnett. April Linder's Jane. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, Wide Cigar So Sea by Jane Reese. Prince Charming by Rebecca Seitz, um, moving that, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, which I may actually get rid of, because I don't really have a point in reading it, so I may either donate it to the office upstairs, um, or I will sell it. I have Looking for Alaska, which is probably going to be on my TBR so that I can finish it, because the March book-a-thon, um, topic is reading books that have been on your, um, TBR for a while, so I might read that just to get it done and see if I like that better than I did in Abundance of Catherine's. Um, the Running Dream by, who is this by? By Wendelin Von Drawen, um, which is an art copy. However, I think, looking at this book now that I own it, I think I may have actually already read this. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, The Naturals by your person's name, Jennifer, Jennifer Lynn Barnes, The Dark Side of Nowhere and Unwind by Neil Schusterman. I'm really bad at remembering authors' first names. Um, Haunting Violet. I've realized this has probably been like that the whole time. Haunting Violet by Alexandra... Harvey, and she spells her name really cool. Um, you Are One of Them by Elliot Holt. The Poacher's Son by Paul Dorian. Six Months Later by Natalie, R Natalie D. Richards. Can You Keep a Secret? I've Got Your Number. Confessions of a Shopaholic. Shopaholic Takes Manhattan. Shopaholic Ties, an up, n ties the Knot. All by Sophie Kinsella. And then Shopaholic, or not Shopaholic, Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. I loaned to my friend, so I'll be getting that back before I leave. Heat Wave, Naked Heat, Heat Rises, and Frozen Heat by Richard Castle. Tunnel Vision by Keith Lau. Normal Girl by Molly Jongfast. The Nanny Diaries by Emma McLawn and Nicola Cross. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. The Bling Ring by Nancy Jo Sales, which I think is going to be on my T-Bear because I've been dying to read it and I just haven't gotten around to it. Water for Elephants by Sarah Grun, which I have a review for. Um, the Icing on the Cupcake by Jennifer Ross. Paris Hangover by Kristen Loeb. Stolen Nights by Rebecca Maisel. Um, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Can't Look Away by Donna Cooner. Um, the Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. 
uh, Bells and Broadway Lights, both by Jen Kalanita, which I don't know if I'm going to keep this. It really interests me. However, it's the fifth book in the series, and I don't feel like getting the other four yet, so I may sell that book. Um, the Giver by Lois Lowry, 100 Essential Tips on Wines, and then It's in the Books by Mikey Spilani and Max Allen Collins. And then last but not least, my hardback section that's up here, Jennifer Michaels Mastering Your metabolism. Sorry, I just forgot my train of thought. The Art of Eating In by Kathy Earway. Brandy Colbert, uh, Point by Brandy Colbert. Of Triton by somebody Banks. Anna Banks, which I think I talked about this in the haul that I did of it. I got the second book, which until I read of Poseidon, I don't know if I need of Triton, so I may sell it. Oops. Another little piece by... Kate, Kate Carius Quinn, and Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab the other Okay, and the other books that I have is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, which is what I'm reading currently, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Cemetery Tours by Jacqueline E. Smith, and If I Stay by Gail Foreman. So that is all the books I have at college. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through and kind of pick what my TBR is for the next month, and then I am going to go through and pick which books I are going to storage and which I will sell, because I think I'm going to the Strand while I'm in the city, or I might say that I need to go to the Strand to sell these books, so that might be what I do. So yeah, um, if you want to show me what's on your bookshelf, uh, let me know down below, and if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, also leave them down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!